Ooh, hey, hey, y'all. Grand Rising, good afternoon and good evening. Whatever time you click on this reading is the right time for you, and I thank you in advance for your viewership, your love, and your support. So I'm up, got a touch of the insomnia, and I figured, you know, why not put in a little work, right? So while I was up doing my, you know, uh, hold on, let me adjust my camera. There we go. While I was up um, during my regular week, you know, life, working or whatnot, I came across the story of Cardi B and Tasha K. And Cardi B spoke about how Tasha K affected her and it made her want to, you know, uh, cause harm to herself and how her reporting was so malicious and that if she had have just talked to her and settled things with her, they could have, you know, bypassed all of this. And then I, I end up seeing that Tasha K apparently allegedly apologized. And it took me to a place to where I had to remember that Tasha Kay had a very interesting guest on her show. I want to say within the last month or so. And this guest worked in energy work. And when I saw that, I knew what direction Tasha was going in. And I thought that it was a smart move. So I expected at least 90 days after that, that things would start clearing up for her. It moved even faster. So without any further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and tap into this energy. So, I want to see what is the honest energy behind this apology and this energy between Tasha K and Cardi B. Um, I had already done a reading on Cardi B after she had the meltdown and I never uploaded it and I'm actually glad I, I didn't. And, you know, I handled it in a very, very responsible way because... You know, you, you don't want to kick somebody when they're down and you don't want to push somebody into a negative headspace when they're already, you know, battling certain things. So I'm glad that I did wait, even though I did it very responsibly, because this came out maybe like, I want to say, four or five days, it had to be at least four days after I did that reading. So without any further ado, y'all, let's get it. Show me what's the energy behind this apology and this mending of energy between Cardi B and Tasha K. Thank you, spirit guides in advance. Three of Wands. This is the ships coming in, also represents blessings on the way. Page of Swords at the bottom of the deck, Page of Cups. So this is like somebody was watching and then here comes an apology. So I want to say that this feels like, you know, Tasha K watched or listened to Cardi B. Um, I don't know if she had a video or it was a upload of her um, audio, but she listened to it and she responded. the Hermit, and the Five of Cups. So Hermit is someone who goes off to themselves, trying to, 
because these are glossy cards. Trying to make sure you guys can see them without all the the lights. Well, I hold them here, <laughs> so hopefully you can see them. So there we are. Um, Five of Cups to the Hermit. So this is someone who's in deep regret, um, and they went off into self reflection. And they came out illuminated on the other side. And I want to say this is Cardi B's energy, Page of Cups. But Cardi B's energy affected Tasha K in such a way that it did make her reach out and apologize. And it made her reach out not because it's like, okay, I'm off the hook for this lawsuit, allegedly. This feels like, you know, she listened to her and what Cardi was saying felt heartfelt to her. Um, page of Wands. This, this caused, you know, a, a new action, new activity to come about after people decided to walk away from each other. Eight of Cups. Yeah, Page of Cups. And it brought the apology. The new action was the apology. So very early on, we're getting the energy behind the apology. This isn't, believe it or not, guys, you know, million dollar, four million dollar lawsuit or not. This actually feels like a genuine come to Jesus moment where people looked at each other's side of the situation to say, you know what? I didn't realize that I made you feel that way. And I would never want to put someone in a position to feel like they want to harm themselves or something of that nature for work, Eight of Pentacles. That means Eight of Cups, excuse. Yeah, that was Eight of Pentacles, Eight of Cups. Excuse me, y'all. It's late. <laughs> and, I'm, and I'm, like I said, I got a touch of the insomnia. Uh, King of Wands. So, you know, we're looking at King of Wands as an action card, right? And we've got walking away from a relationship or just walking away from a situation. This feels more so like a situation that has to do with work, okay? So it's like they're both deciding at this moment in time to bury the hatchet and walk away from the situation as it lays, okay? This is, you know, this has gone on long enough. We drag this out as far as it can go. I'm tired. You're tired. We're tired. Can we just bury, you know, the the acts or you know however you want to say it they they both are ready to let this go this has been tumultuous it's been strenuous hold on queen of wands okay um queen of wands if not a person it represents an attractive offer because out of all the queens, she's the most attractive out of the deck and she's proactive. She would be the go-getter. So this is a very attractive offer. King of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Um, this is the energy of taking action on an attractive offer, okay? Okay, so this is like toxic energy affecting a relationship, marriage, soulmates, um, like twin flames, and someone being obsessed with, you know, that type of energy. But I, I feel like what Cardi was saying was genuine about, yeah, Seven of Cups considering options and wanting to cut loose certain energies. 
So I feel like she was being very genuine. She was speaking from the heart when she, you know, um, said what she said about how this affected her, how this affected her family, her marriage. She was having a very, very candid, clear and concise moment that you usually don't get from celebrities. The artist, yeah. So we know there's only one artist involved in this. This is Cardi. So falling under the three of wands. This is a ship's coming in, a blessing, an opportunity. Hold on. Move some of this stuff over. This is a blessing and an opportunity for her to just let this go. Uh, let this weight off her back. Let this burden loose. And just go on about her way. The reader at the bottom of the deck. She could have received advice from a spiritual advisor or somebody that she holds close to her that's near and dear. With the temperance angel up under that, it's saying that you need to just release this toxic energy so that you can have a new beginning. Let go and grow type energy. The lovers and the seven of cups. So the lovers is not just about a relationship. This is, you know, uh, coming into an agreement, considering your options. And being that we're doing this reading on her and Tasha, they're both looking at this situation where they can consider their options, okay? So it's, it's almost like um, this isn't just a meeting of the minds. This is a meeting of the hearts. This is two people who go hard body who have finally just said, you know what, bitch, I'm tired, okay? I'm tired. I've had enough. Okay, I know you've had enough. You know, you showed your ass. I showed my ass. I got my point across. You got your point across. But what did either one of us gain? Can, can we just bury the hatchet at this point? So here we go with the Magician, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Nine of Wands at the bottom of the deck. And that's manifesting coming into a stability, a stable place, and a foundation in your womanhood and your business and who you are after going through battle after battle after battle. Because the Nine of Wands is the wounded warrior. So they're both saying, look, it's been real. I've been through enough. I'm tired. You ain't going to give up. I ain't going to give up. We both fierce fighters, but enough is enough. You know, we this, this is affecting both of our lives in ways that neither one of us thought. At first, we both had egos. We both had to win. Now we both need to think about our family, our children, our futures. It's actually turning out to be very mature. On the back end, the reader. Like I said, five of cups, the hermit, and the reader. This is someone being very intuitive, looking at things on the back end, because this turned out to be, you know, a very toxic, chaotic situation that both parties regretted. Five of swords. You know, the arguing, the back and forth, the cantankerous attitudes, the knock out, drag out everything. Both parties end up regretting all of this. And now, you know, it's like um, allegedly people could be, you know, speaking to their spiritual advisors or, you know, consulting their angel teams, praying, doing whatever needs to be done to clear out and cleanse this energy. The magician manifesting. So manifesting when you got the page of wands and the page of cups. That's a new action and new activity to just have a truce because the page of cups is like, you know, light communication. You know, um, being able to be civil. I ain't got to like you to respect you type energy. Because this this has got the both of them feeling stuck, trapped. You know, they didn't neither neither party thought that this would turn into what it turned into. Five of 
five of swords so eight of cups walking away from a relationship due to situations pertaining to work and all this arguing so now they're both thinking about where they want to go with their careers what they want to do what they're trying to accomplish and it's just um it's become too much it's affecting both parties career in a way that's just too much the star so the queen of wands and the star um because we're on cardi's side of this so this is like, you know, she's the sought after, the attractive, you know, the the well-known, the celebrity, which would be the Queen of Wands, because the Queen of Wands is that bitch, okay? She's that chick, right? Come on, cars, work with me. Y'all can't be having a case of insomnia, too. You know, the Queen of Wands and the star. So that's like, you know, hope contract negotiations and agreements coming to you know a negotiation seven of swords six of swords so this is like you know so feeling like somebody is sneaky you can't trust them to cut and loose the toxic energy and moving on to calmer waters uh, leaving the baggage behind moving on into blessed energy so Cardi really feels like to get to where she needs to get to, she has to let go of all these burdens. She has to free her spirit, her energy of all these burdens. And once she, you know, turns loose all these burdens, she's going to feel lighter. She's going to feel better. Like, you know, I no longer have all these things on my back. I no longer have all of you know, the anxiety that comes with this situation. Mm. Two of Pentacles. So, there's still dicey energy, you know, around the Two of Cups. Like, I said in my last reading on Cardi, like she loves being married. She loves the married life and having children. Um, but I also think that things happen so fast that at one point in time, it was like in hyperdrive. So she was thrown into things, you know, with the fame, the family and everything. And it's like from time to time, it's like not having time to breathe. It's like swimming and not coming up for air, like she she has her moments where it gets to be a bit much and then you can see down here you know you got the devil the two of cups the two of pentacles you know juggling with energy that's within the marriage toxic energy possessive chaotic energy having to deal with it coming out in the media exposing bringing things to light with you know infidelities and things going on in her marriage this how all this affected her where she was you know it's like she didn't get a chance to brace herself when these things were coming out in the media and i could understand that because you know regular people your man she is probably you and you, you know your two bald head ass friends that know about it not the whole rest of the world right but she has to wake up and face the whole world you know, if and when her husband has an issue, an infidelity. And before she can get to process it and deal with it, what, see, the cars don't even want to act right. <laughs> yeah, before she can process it and deal with it, it's, it's, you know, global news. And, you know, five of pentacles, ace of swords. And this is feeling like out in the cold and ostracized and, you know, things are affecting, you know, business and it, just the whole makeup of how she does what she does. And she's tired of feeling like she has to live a certain way 
for people because of her career, because of her image. It's almost like missing the whole, you know, back when I was a regular person when nobody cared type stuff. You know, she's thankful for her blessings, but to, to much, you know, to whom much is given, much is required, right? So, I don't want to make this reading too long because I want to get into Tasha Kay's side of this. And if I still have the energy, I want to knock out, you know, another reading or two before I finally go and, you know, fall on the bed and wake up and realize I finally went to sleep. I don't know. I'm a little wired tonight, y'all. So, all my night owls, if you're up and you can't sleep, thank you for being up watching my, my readings. I appreciate you. I don't know. I'm I'm a small channel, so it amazes me, guys, when I realize I have people on the other side of the pond checking in, watching me, showing me love. Like, that still throws me. Like, you watching me from the UK? Oh, okay. What's good? Let's see. Let's tap in. Let me burn this little piece of sage I got left because I ain't about to go find another bundle. We're going to make this, this piece of sage do what it do. I ain't burning my nails either. All righty. All right, let's tap into the energy around Tasha K and this apology. What's the energy around the apology? Strength and the Ten of Pentacles. So, bottom of the deck, look at this. Bottom of the deck, Five of Pentacles, Strength and the Ten of Pentacles. So, this is somebody who faced, you know, being out in the cold. You know, what she say? I ain't got it. Okay, this is I ain't got it. But this is holding it together until she gets it. Okay, so we got Eight of Cups, Page of Pentacles, and the Will of Fortune. So it's like she's also walking away from things, walking away from relationships, cutting certain energies loose. Um, Page of Pentacles is looking at new financial ventures. And actually, things are looking up for her, Will of Fortune. So after all of this is said and done, she's going to be on the lighter side of things. She's going to finally be able to walk into her blessings and breathe a sigh of relief herself. The Empress and the Eight of Swords. So Empress is creative energy. It's um, maternal energy and up under it, you got the Eight of Swords, which is feeling confined, conflicted, trapped in certain energies. So also the Empress represents um, things that you bring, that you birth, that you bring into fruition. So this is her feeling stuck in the energy that she created from doing these um, stories, like these exposés rather. Six of Pentacles. Um, this is some kind of uh, unearned income coming to her or somebody wanting to gift her with something. But then it brought heartbreak. So I don't know if this is like the burden of a hot story that, you know, 
was huge for her that brought a burden because that's what that feels like because six of pentacles is unearned income so it could have been a tip or a story which could be the the cardi b story and it's like this was big for her got a lot of numbers made her a lot of revenue on youtube and brought her a lot of heartbreak uh oh wait a minute queen of swords was about to pop out <laughs> yeah heartbreak so it's like the other side of this is, you know, high anxiety, no rest for the weary, no rest for the wicked. Um, this brought a lot of anxiety to her, a lot of sleepless nights to her. But she stood her ground. She was defensive, several, seven of wands. And we watched that. And it's like now she's coming out on the other side of this going towards victory. But she's still going to have to tread lightly until this energy is completely cleared up. Two of Wands, Hangman. So Two of Wands and a Hangman represents... It represents a choice that puts you in dire straits. And that's, you know, to follow... What I get is that's to follow this story, okay? Following this story put her in dire straits. It, it was a major, you know, um, AdSense boost. It was huge to her numbers and her viewership. But when it was all said and done, it ended up not being worth all the drama. Because here it is, Queen of Swords. I don't know Tasha's sign. Um, Queen of Swords is a, a air sign. But Queen of Swords is definitely somebody who's sharp at the tongue, who doesn't uh, beat around the bush. She says what she says. And Tasha definitely can be, you know, a little, you know, a little spicy with the conversation. And that would definitely be the Queen of Swords because the Queen of Swords, you know, hey, she don't, she don't play with you. She's going to say what she's saying. If you feel how you feel, then that's on you. She's not responsible for how you feel. Ace of Wands. It's forward movement and expansion. So after this is all said and done, she's going to be able to move on. She's going to be able to still do what it is that she does. But, you know, this definitely... This definitely affected her income. It slowed things down. It brought some things to a crawl. You know, steady. Income was still there, steady, but not as it used to be. Knight of Wands. This is here for the short time, not the long time. So she's going to have to be more conscious of what type of story she decides to do in the future. Because, you know, after the story is over, she still has to consider the long-term um, effects of the short-term win for, you know, the clicks and views. Five of Cups, that's deep regret and sorrow because it slowed down her money, okay? So... If you look at this, Six of Pentacles, this is her making, you know, lots of money off of her subscribers, you know, however that works. And then it's deep sorrow and regret because this case brought her money to a crawl. So when she say, I ain't got it, she wasn't lying. I mean, she never, you know, just completely just up and went broke. But it brought certain things to a standstill. Not a halt. But let's say a, a slow progression. Three of Swords over the Magician. Hold on. Over the Magician. So it's like this whole situation manifested heartbreak.
Well, we see the card of bringing things to a rest at the bottom of the deck, the Four of Swords. And it's like she had to got seven of wands there, which is, you know, defending yourself, standing up for yourself. She had to be defensive and defend herself over taking this leap of faith, you know, jumping into this energy. <sighs> Excuse me. And then you got the four of pentacles and the nine of cups at the bottom of the deck. You know, four of pentacles is like being stubborn and also, um, you know, focusing on finances and generational welfare, like four generations. And then you got the nine of cups, which is a wish fulfillment. So she had tunnel vision. Tasha was concerned with, you know, I'm building an empire, I'm building a legacy, and this is going to feed my children and my children's children. But on the other end, Cardi was looking at how this is going to affect her children and her children's children. This put the weight of the world on Tasha's back. Ten of uh, wands, right? Forward moving. Now she's going back into stability. But she's going to have to work on the stubbornness. Seven of Pentacles. That's sowing seeds for a bigger harvest. This is also as you sow, so shall you reap. So she's going to have to, like I said, be very careful of the energy that she sows into now. Because it feels like she's becoming more aware spiritually of how things you know, culminate and manifest in the universe. So you, you know, so shall you sow, so shall you reap. What you send out is what you receive back. So she's going to have to think about how she manifests her energy now. I'm not saying that she can't, you know, still be entertaining and be in your face, but she has to consider how and when she, you know, turns up. I didn't mean to pull all of these, but hey, if it came out, it came out. So eight of pentacles, the chariot, and the nine of cups with the queen of wands. So this is working on moving forward towards a wish fulfillment and how she's going to take actions in the future towards more attractive offers and, you know, appearing more attractive business-wise. So both of these women are looking at in the long run, how is this going to affect the way that they come to the table and how they present themselves in the business world? Three of Pentacles. This is contract negotiations and agreements coming into um, one accord. <laughs> this isn't a private reading, so I'm not going to say what just came to me. But the bottom of the deck is the High Priestess and the Nine of Wands. Uh, the High Priestess always just knows where the bones are buried, and she is the most knowledgeable on uh, secret knowledge, things of the occult. And in the upright, she's a benevolent High Priestess. So, you know, Two of Pentacles... Nine of Wands, hold on. Because I always like y'all to see what I see. Because I don't just read what hits the table. I read as I shuffle. Okay. So it's like, allegedly, if she was in touch with such said type energy, they're bringing things to rest for her that she's been fighting against for a very long time. And things that she's had to juggle with over time. Because of harsh communication. Five of Wands. Hierophant. The World. And the Ten of Cups. Hold on. Ace of Cups. Baby, listen. This is, you know, um, judge, jury, and adjudicator. Situation coming to an end fruitfulness and abundance that will 
you know, come back to her family now. So, look like Tasha tapped in with the right one, with the right energy. And she was able to, in a benevolent way, put this energy beside, you know, to the side um, and, and come out with an offer that was going to bring peace to both sides, both parties, and everybody gets to walk away with their pride, their dignity, and peace of mind. Um, that's a good thing. I would dig a little deeper, but I don't think it's necessary. So I'm going to wrap this reading up. And this is my reading on the energy between the Tasha K and Cardi B apology. And if you are up like me and you can't sleep, once again, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And for everybody else who is watching this during your regular uh, waking hours, I appreciate you as well. I wish both these ladies much success and hopefully I'll be able to go to bed soon, y'all. But I'm gonna see if I can knock out one more reading before I go to sleep. Everybody have a good night. Be blessed and talk to y'all later. This reading is adjourned.